Welcome to Civilization 6, I'm Magican, I will just make this quick guide so you can understand how it works, the game, compared to Civilization 5, and even if you are new, I will just make it like 10 minutes, so it's just uh, quick and good things, and some issues are also happening. Uh, well, let's start with the beginning, you have workers, when you start at a town, you make a town or city, and this is my first one, when you make a a settler like this I'm making here you can see this is the eight this actually means how many turns it takes to grow and in civilization 5 that was not any option you could not grow the town while you also made a settler still you have to have two settler uh, two population to make a settler still and when you press the town you can go in here and choose it there's also as you can see here campus there's some commercial hub encampment and different systems you can use and in this normally in civilization 5 you build in the square here but and then you could see things uh, on the screen but it was in the square when they attack that but here you have some development areas and this is like one of them my campus it's built uh, when you have the opportunity to, to do that, then you have to have two mountains or three mountains if you want that. You have to look at the situation where you want to build some of these areas. You can build city center, granary, agent walls, water mill and other sites. Uh, but then you have also your... Uh, my campus is built in the, in the scientific district and that's this because it has two mountains if I had three or four it would give me some more chances to do that also and then it will show you a map where you can see how many you have you can also buy the titles as you normally do you can see here you can go in and say okay this is the area where you have it where you can see where I'm using the area here you can you can buy the titles like you could in Civilization 5. The difference is that when you buy a, when you buy a, a builder, the builder can only be used for free turns. So I have a builder down here, and not three turns, but three uh, three actions. And that builder, I will just show the next turn, can do stuff but only three times and later in the game you get it four times you get five times but i can actually remove this field here and then it's removed and then there's only one action left you can see it's three persons and then it will be down to one and when i have done it the last action i will show you and this is also my last builder so i could just build a mine and it does it right away and now he's gone so the builder can only be used for three times and later as i said four and five the trade routes is something different in this game you don't build roads yourself you actually make a trade route i have made a trade route here and then i can see my trade routes i have actually made a trade route um Egyptian, so I made my own trade route. I will give two food and one production from Thames to uh, Rocket. I'm not pronouncing that right, but this is not the capital. This is made in the Civilization 5. That was the capital for the Egyptians, but this is actually the capital. And then I made a trade route from Thames to uh, Rocket, and they build the road the trade route builds the road so it's much more uh, real you can see the graphics different uh, it's it's it sounds like the game sounds incredible the the graphic is really good it's like good music especially in the beginning when you start it's a choir that's a lot of good uh, issues where you you feel that the game is really going the way you like it where well, what I like to do with the game is to to feel the atmosphere to to have a strategy game that I do not want to say okay I'm going to sleep now because it's boring it's not boring it has a lot of good fights also the battles are the same the barbarians are the same 
but they have made some different uh, changes to the game when you had the culture in Civilization 5 that's now a Civ tree and I really like that that's a good thing to do because you have a lot of things you want to do and you can have like uh, better range units, uh, better fighting units in the beginning. You can have builders first, like 30% faster, also like the culture. And there's also here, you have the chance to make uh, settlers 50% faster. Then you have to change the things and find out what you want to do. In the science, it also made some really good adjustments. You have like, here you have the science. It's 68 or 69 science up here. But in the Civilization 5 was 78, 79, I can't really remember. But here you have chance to boost, uh, to boost your science uh, on these issues. And I, if you kill a unit with a slinger, you boost it. And the wheel you can boost, and the Bronx working, if you kill f three barbarians, you boost it. So what you're trying to do in the game, what I'm trying to do, is trying to find some areas where I can boost my uh, signs before I take them. So I take all the boosts first and then try to complete them faster. It gives about 50% going from 8 turns to 4 turns. And it, it, it's a really good uh, change of the game, the change of pace also. And you have a way to make an online game even faster than a quick game. The maps are a little bit less than standard. Standard maps wa was a little bit bigger in 5. And uh, the raw materials, you do not have happiness in the game anymore. But you have different settings in the town. If you look at the town, you can go in here and say, uh, I want to see the city growth. And you can see the different aspect of the town. And you have to have enough housing. And you have to gain amenities and improve luxury. That's improve the luxury resources around here. That's the way the ha town is happy. So it's each town makes makes you like playing the game, and it's a little bit more micromanagement on that level. But it's it's easier to understand. It's also easier to get into the game. But you also have like more options, more realistic options. Instead of the builder just building a road, you have the trade routes like in the old times, the way they traded from one town to another. They had roads because they needed to trade. So it's it's bigger that way. It's it's better. You also have religion, and uh, you can choose the religion and what you want to have. And it's a little bit different compared to the religion in uh, Civ Five, but not that much. It's 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 just more the 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 graphic side, the structural side of it. They still have options to to use the different religion. What you want to have and then there's the the money part you have to still the same the science the the culture and the faith so the great people is a little bit different uh, you have they are not that strong what I what I personally think is not that strong you can make make a wonder or like pressing a button and then there's a wonder when you have the engineer in Civ 5 here you have to like look at the different part of the you can see the different part of, I have three four nations here I'm the one of them Egypt and then you can see how long the others have gone and you can also pass on them you can pass the great people and save the save the process later on and then you can see tr trigger some Technology, three technology from classic me middle era. There's some different generals also, and you can see great general, great admiral, great engineer, merchant, prophet, scientist, writer is a new one, artist the same, a musician. So there's some changes, but not that much. And uh, the barbarians are wiser, smarter when you attack them. And they see they will lose, they will try to run from you. They will not just attack. The towns are not quite well defended at the beginning. You cannot shoot on anything. You have to have walls before that. And that's a good thing because in Civ 5, you just made the walls just to protect your place if they attacked, but you didn't really want them. 
because it's not needed. And here, it's it's when you get the walls, it's not just for defending. You can actually shoot at the barbarians coming in. They are not just attacking your town in the beginning. They are going around it, and you have a lot of time. I've not even made walls on this, and they're coming in. But I've also pr only played on Prince difficulty. And you can see the different parts here. The graphic, I really like the graphic. But I have some issues with it. When I'm at the Egypt now, and uh, when I have the wheel, I can make a special uh, chariot archer. And when that is upgraded to another unit, because it's better, you cannot make the chariot archer anymore. So I cannot make the fastest and the best equipment for for Egypt as I want. A normal, real life, they could make a lot of things they really want to make. You cannot just say, ah, oh, you cannot make it anymore. So they actually cut that off. I do not like that. They should have that back on again. So uh, you can make the the primary uh, special weapons they have in the the in the different uh, lands and different uh, players. You can they have different attributes and abilities for different uh, countries you are picking, and I really like that. I will have that back, but I'm hoping they will turn that back in another patch or something uh, or another update uh, there's also some small issues with the game uh, like you have to go in if you want to have move on the side here you have to go in in options and interface and enable scroll and mouse at edge in the beginning there was a lot of people saying oh I can't move I can't move it they did something else you can click the left mouse button and then turn the turn it like this but it's a little bit irritating to do that all the game it's also a little bit irritating to to have the edge on because of the issue I can just show you fast here up here you cannot go up here you have to 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 change uh, or to move the the top you have to go just below like it's a window and that should they should change that they should change that a so uh, maybe it's because you have to use the reports up here and the stuff and they won't have it like that but it's irritating that you have to remember to put it under here you should have an option where you can choose it so um, and uh, that's the only two issues I've found so far in the game uh, where I think okay it's a little bit yeah, small irritating box, but it's nothing compared to how good it feels like to play the game. I like the cartoon way it's made. Uh, there's one little thing that I I have like from Civ 5. I would like to have a more like overview instead of it's like you look in on on a tilt, but I would like to have like more like this view, but then you can't get close enough, and it's like. I will see it from more on top, a little bit like 30-50% more, but that's just maybe a, I have to get used to that. And then the the settlers are putting down, you have to do it in like in Civ 5 with water and roads. Here it's not a good place, I had not enough production. And the ships, when you make a, a boat, you can use the same boat to, to f harvest and get the resources. And if you get a stone quarry like up here and you make a town here and then get this stone, then you can actually get a boost to that also to uh, masonry. I think it's that you get boost to if you uh, if you hack the stone. So it's a lot of things you can do to boost the civilization. And this was just like a quick guide and just quick help to see the things in the the game the changes and else there's the districts there's the builders when you build you will lose it after three turns normally you can upgrade it later and you can choose some cards um, what I mean by cards it's a political s science here show sure government let's see here and you have the 
great generals. And um, you can choose to see the different parts here. And you can also, one good, really good thing about the, the signs, just poking around. If you can see if you have irrigation, you can actually see the what it changes later on in the game with the food, the gold, uh, when you get some different sciences. And that's really good, so you don't have to scroll up to to get the changes or what's happening with the irrigation. That's also a good good thing they have made there. So, and let's see, there's one more thing I just want to to get into. You have, of course, you have the Silovia here. And let's see if I can find the politics, but you can also have the report on all the towns. The same standard resources, what you got, the amount. And you can also harvest the wheat here. So you get some more uh, food in fast instead of building it. But when you harvest it, it will be removed. But maybe it will come again because sometimes it pop up. Uh, maybe after some turns, I've not figured that out yet. And then you have the settlers. You can still grow this town, the city, when you build a settler. And you can have some cards to change that. So you can get 50%, but it will take some time, like the culture in Civ 5. This was my quick guide for you, and I hope it will help you to figure out if you want the game. I will, compared to the 15 hours I've played it so far, I will say this is better than Civ 5, but you still have to get used to it. You have to get used to the way it's, it's done. It's still Civ 5, but when you get to the mid-play of the game, you actually feel more like you want to play. Before, you felt, okay, you have to do some random stuff all the time. Here you actually have to find the cities, place the cities down, the right places to find the roads uh, where you, they build the trade routes, and also to find the mountains here to figure out where to build them so you can have different aspects. And I do not know that yet. I only have some areas where, okay, I need the mountains for the the um, library because it needs science for mountains and there's a lot of other things you have to build the pyramids the wonders we're close to a desert because that's the way it is stone age has to build with stone close to stone so it's it's more genuine a uh, real life and i really like that but you have to figure out what to do about it and how to do it and some people just want to go in and play it and then just don't think I like to think of new things, and uh, and every each uh, game is a different game because you have different areas, and you have to explore different kind of ways to make your town, cities, and what you really want to do in the game. So that's for me right now. I hope you enjoy them. My quick quick guide. I just try to give you the options of this. I'm not sure if you uh, if you got it all in my little b way to do it and explain it but i hope you will find it as funny as i do and it's it's the same next turn next turn next turn okay you can watch my um, let's play it's a little bit sh longer and not as short and it's a little bit more detailed thank you for watching